I always find myself playing this game when I go to... In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Texas 12 Loop West. I don't even have GPS going! What are you doing? Where are you trying to take me? I don't know where my phone was trying to take me. Anyways, <laughs> I've got... So, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. I lost my train of thought. Cactus Canyon is in tow. I am loaded up and I'm headed that way to the distributor to get Deadpool. Let's do this. If you watched my Cactus Canyon review video, which released merely a couple of hours ago, then you are in the know on why I decided to trade in my Cactus Canyon for Deadpool. And in a nutshell, Cactus Canyon is a great game. I would love to hold on to it, but I've been wanting a Deadpool for a long time. And Cactus Canyon currently with its code is just not where I would like it to be. But I'm limited on room. A game has to go to bring in another game. So at this current point in time, Cactus Canyon was the bottom rung of the ladder. So I've also got a couple of additions to this game that I will be immediately putting on the game. I've got the shaker motor, I've got the art blades. And uh, so yeah, gonna be just sprucing this game up right out of the box essentially. And, uh, and of course I've got Penn Stadiums that I will be putting on there as well. So, it's going to be a well-lit game. Pretty excited about it. And partly the reason why I got this game is because I could no longer play it at the family center on the location because it was broken. And they just, they're just they just not fixing the damn thing. You try playing a Deadpool with a scoop not working. Try it. It's nowhere near as fun. You can't progress or anything. It's just not it. So... I was the only one playing Cactus Canyon. I asked I asked the kids if they would prefer to keep Cactus Canyon or get Deadpool, and they were excited about Deadpool. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. You're selling it? Oh! Yay! <laughs> I didn't know it. I, from this point, I didn't even see the top. It looked like it was Cactus Canyon. This game was obtained from Fun Billiards and Game Room Superstore. Special thanks to them for making this trade possible. I was literally in and out in 15 minutes and didn't have to lift a thing. They sell new and used machines. I will put a link in the video description for you to check out what all they have to offer. Deadpool is Stern's 2018 sleeper hit, designed by the great George Gomez. The art package was Zombie Yeti's second game with Stern Pinball. The game was poorly received, mainly due to the code being incomplete. As time has passed and the code improved, this game has risen to be one of Stern's best games.
honestly, I have only played this game during shows or locations, giving me poor experiences in regards to what the soundtrack and callouts are actually like. I knew I liked how it shot, but it isn't till now that I really understand the love behind the game. The audio package so far is superb, and callouts are hilarious. I will be installing the Stern Arc Blades, Shaker Motor, Penn Stadium Neos, and a Red Ring Kit from Titan Pinball. More mods to come, I'm sure. And there it is, guys. Deadpool is officially in the... <sighs> nope. Nope. And of all the good stuff that you guys make and produce, you've got this noisy little bitch right here and your power supplies. All the great things that you create, but you leave this noisy cricket in here. This is what I think about your little fan right here. Fatality. Every one of my Stern pinball machines gets the Pinball Monk fan treatment. I will put links in the video description on how to purchase your own, as well as a link to my video on how to install it. And this is how you test to make sure the Pin Monk fan is working, because it's so quiet you're not going to know if it's working. See how if I just go over it, it just levitates. It is moving air quietly. I love it. And if your argument is you like this fan to be noisy, that way you know it's working, that's ridiculous. You know how I know my machine is working? Whenever it's turned on. That's when I know it's working. If this thing, for whatever reason, fails, including the stern fan, if it fails, it's got built-in parameters in place to shut down the machine if it reaches a certain temperature, guys. So, whatever. But it voids your warranty. Oh, does it? Does it? Does it? All right, let's wrap this video up by showing you what the Penn Stadium Neos do to it. I have the UV attached to the Dazzler flasher, and I believe it gives a really nice show, especially during Disco Multi Ball. Once again, a special thank you to Fun, Billiards, and More Superstore for the trade. And an even more special thank you to my Patreon supporters. With their help, I was able to buy the camera for which this video was filmed with. guys so let me know down below good trade bad trade what do you think and until next time peace out so out of the box you can see 
this car is supposed to be over here pointing at the insider connected and this car is supposed to be over here out of the box stern where's the quality control what the fuck